Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to my second、uh, video on Mu ESB.、Uh, I recorded an introduction development on Mu ESB video last year.、Um, so Mu has been developing very fast. That now the new studio is,、uh, you know, give a different name. So today I'm going to demo how to integrate、um, HTTP connector to ActMQ. So this is、uh, I thought this use case will be very、uh, useful、uh, in the the real enterprise development.、Uh, we encounter、uh, quite some use cases where the Uh, the in, the invocation、uh, is through the HTTP RESTful RESTful web services, and then we after certain processing,、uh, we publish the message to the JMS queue.、Uh, I just choose Actum queue for the easy demo purpose.、Uh, we can also uh, easily uh, change this to other. Uh, messaging broker like、uh, IBM MQ series, typical EMS, and etc.、Um, so this is the main purpose of this demo.、Uh, before that,、uh, I'm going to say a few words about the current ESB market. So as you you might、uh, know that Mu ESB and JBoss Fuse. Or JBoss、uh, Fuse Service work、uh, currently are two dominant uh, ESB uh, in terms of open source. There is another one to call Thailand ESB. It's pretty good,、uh, but since Mu,、uh, the new especially the develop the studio has made significant change.、Uh, this is I think so far this now is the best ESB. Uh, but JBoss Fuse and JBoss FSW has their advantage as well because they have、uh, open open source. They easily integration with you know Switchyard,、uh, Camo, etc.、Uh, Mu ESB is kind of clothing system which is on one uniform. Uh, interface is good and bad. The good is,、uh, you don't have to worry about so many components.、Uh, they build in for you uh, with a very nice GUI now, and you can you know you can change the the XML file as well.、Uh, you know this is easy to be done. For example, and then you save it right, and you can go different view. Very beautiful. Um, I I think now Mu has really a pretty much advantage over other, in particular with the GUI development.、Um, given that、um, I'm not going to say too much about to, about the comparison,、um, so probably I will in my、uh, next next month when I get more time, I will do a, a detailed comparison about current ESB market. Okay, so today I'm going to show you this scenario. Basically,、uh, the HTTP inbound point uh, listening uh, on the messaging, and then we do certain、uh, transformation. Basically, set the the payload, and then we publish to the Actum queue.、Uh, before that, if you haven't done that,、um, so you need to. Do few things in if you want to work on my demo. So you need to download ActMQ, download、uh, Mu ESB uh, Studio. Uh, it's called AnyPoint, and also download the the standalone version, which is community version. Currently, I'm having three dot six dot one. So you can see I I already download this. Sorry. So 
uh, under my download. Uh, if you look, this is the runtime. Uh, this is the studio. Today, we'll, I will focus on studio. If I have time, I'll show you how to deploy it to the, the runtime, uh, which I have a demo in my previous um, development session. The, so you can uh, watch that. It's very, very similar. Another uh, component you might you, you, you have downloaded is this. Apache ActiveMQ 5.11 is this is I think this is the latest latest version. I already downloaded this and uh, if you can see um, there is Java process already running. So this is ActiveMQ already running, so I can um, show the, the demo uh, actually. Let's see. So yeah, so it's already running, and I create a queue here, so I'm going to delete this so for in order to show you. Um, so I this my privacy invocation. So I already done this, but for the demo purpose, I'm going to uh, do it from scratch so you can learn the, the whole process. Um, so let me close this, let me close this. Uh, let's say from here, this is the, the studio. Uh, you will create a new project first. So new, new project. Uh, there are a few interesting, you might see here, uh, I'm not going to cover everything, but the one thing is this, is the new domain project. Mu come with a default domain. Basically domain project, if you have shared resources, uh, you put here, you create domain project. So for the each application, uh, we will create a new project. All right, so this is a new project. Uh, let me call it, I already have HTTP, uh, JMS, um, let's call it tutorial. Um, okay, use Maven. Uh, remember, I already configured the Maven. If you have not configured, uh, it will ask you to configure. Um, pretty much, you know, you have you know where the Maven is. For example, my one, uh, I can see which uh, I'm within. For example, this is my my Maven. Um, I already set it up. So, but that's I'm not going to, you know, that's pretty uh, rudimentary. Uh, I'm not going to say too much about that. And let's quickly come to the gist. Um, here is, uh, I create a work, workspace. This space underneath, uh, if you know Eclipse, it is Eclipse. So, no much to see. Um, if you notice that in my last um, a video there is they call default in the bin but now they they, they have improvement uh, in class here uh, that's correct and um, so okay so we can basically we're done create project finish uh, once you create it start build uh, this is uh, it show the you know the all the library etc uh, you can you know, take a look when you have time. But I'm 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 to really come to the because I I want to uh, have the HTTP listener. Uh, so you go to connector. This is connector is all the this is the inbound and bound point. If you think about that, so you have AJAX, you have F, FTP inbound file inbound generic. Uh, GMS, so you can drag here, right? So create one. Um, yeah, this is pretty simple. And you see, you notice that there's something is it, not configured yet. So double click here. And what is missing is this, right? If you look, nothing here. So we need to add something here. And this is a default uh, interface, basically local 
local you can put local hosts here or all interfaces for the Linux environment this is very important uh, so all the uh, you can invoke the invoke the, the the application through the any interfaces if you want basically uh, nothing to change basically here and then you do okay uh, so if you save it uh, you can do in my case I will be come on s or save it right so now you see uh, it's gone right it's good I want to show you something. This is a global element uh, we will use here later on. So this is pretty important as well. So we did that. Remember we did the app something. You can also come here to create one. Um, okay, given that. So now, because I want to have HTTP listener, and then I also want to have a JMS, right? Before I do that, uh, do that, I need to do something. If you you have been working on messaging system, you know, JMS has a connection factory, um, connection pool, etc. That is the connector, right? And also you have endpoint, which is basically the queue, which queue you want to use. So what we need to do, we need to create a two uh, element. One is JMS connector, the other is JMS endpoint. I'm going to show you here how to do that, okay? So click create. So what I'm going to do, uh, we are going to create a connector, right? Using connector um, configuration. Um, it comes with a bunch of connectors already, so pretty cool. Uh, JMS. You need to click here. There are a few of them. Uh, WebLogic, GMS, uh, Generic GMS. Um, actually, this is GMS as well. It's not, it's Web Service MQ series. You see here? The two is already built on top here. Uh, to me, I, I think they should put underneath here. It's, it's a GMS, but anyway. I don't understand why they put the, you know, from what happens if tomorrow you have typical EMS. That, that is also messaging queue. Uh, another, for example, Sonic, you know, uh, that's another messaging. So I think they should category input here. For example, I, they're the same as WebLogic GMS. But anyway, so what we're interested in this time is Actum queue connector, right? So click. Okay, and here come to the name. You can change the name, uh, Arkham Q. So, for example, you can do that. Uh, Arkham Q, you can, if you want, say Arkham Q, maybe connector. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, you can name like that, name, right? Arkham Q, maybe. Uh, Actually, it should be named like this. Anyway, uh, this one is typically the the ActMQ URL. It's called TCP. This is a default. Everything. This is fine. Uh, if you have not uh, read my blog about, I wrote a lot of blog on ActMQ, how to uh, configure the broker, uh, how to con configure the network broker, how to configure the SSL. This TCP is called transport. Uh, this is basically has nothing. I, I didn't put the security. If you want, you can. In the real enterprise, you all need to put the username and password, etc. Uh, specification is fine. So this is create a connector. Basically, the, this is a reuse, reusable um, resources Arkham queue here right so you can double click here you can come uh there's nothing to do here if you want xa you can do xa you can add a bunch of properties um Arkham queue for them has a bunch of you know like a, a maxim maxim uh, payload size etc but i'm not going to this is not the purpose to show that discard that okay so this is good right 
So this is the connector. Once you have the connector, we need to also configure an endpoint, basically the, the queue. So let's create another thing. Remember, last time we created a connector configuration. This time we're going to create a connector endpoint, right? So connector endpoint, um, interestingly, there is no default here, right? So I, I'm going to, you know, ask the JMS and the point here. Um, so this is the JMS name. You can name as uh, uh, ArcMQ JMS, for example. JMS uh, Ar Active MQ. Uh, it's very important. So you can be topic or queue, either way, either of them. But this time I'm going to say um, queue, or we'll say JMS, uh, JMS, well, we'll say new demo, right? So this is a queue name. Um, if you look at that, I want to show you here. We don't have this yet. This is my queue, and this is run on local host. Remember, uh, th this is the, the GUI uh, set. Um, so there's nothing here yet, right? Yeah, nothing here yet. I'm going to show you here, okay. So this is the queue name. And now, on this queue, uh, we want to select a connector, okay, Arctum Q connector. Um, transaction type, say, here is really confusing here. They they should not see that, but anyway, we will say um, a GMS transaction, uh, no supported, timeout, maybe uh, 100, 100 millisecond. Uh, if something wrong, it will time out. So do okay. So now we create another uh, GMS um, endpoint, and we name it is GMS Actum Q. All right. So those are the global element in the global element, right? Uh, now we go back to here, and so we can create a connector, right? So we can come here. So drag this over here. Right, and yeah, so display name, uh, we can call it, this is ArcMQ, right, so ArcMQ here, so we can see ArcMQ, um option GMS uh, no supported fine. Uh this element must have all reference address etc. Yeah, I think that should work. Uh it should not be here. Okay, so attribute address or reference uh, or queue. So I should have for now, maybe we can do a demo here. So <laughs> I'll show you. This, this is some Thing very little bit. I think the GUI need to be uh, let me select the endpoint here that you cannot select it. Actually, remember, I already defined endpoint. Now he still asked me uh, to have the queue. So, but anyway, we can fix it here. I remember that's error gone, right? So, I want to uh, take a look. This is the XML uh, representation of the mu flow. 
Um, if you know Camo, uh, Camo is called route, and then this is a flow. Okay, uh, th that's fine. Uh, one thing, uh, if you look that we have, remember in the in the here we have three, right? You can see here there's three. This is the representation of XML. So here. And then this is the connector we configured, right? Remember broke URL, uh, something like that. And here we, we said, okay, I define endpoint that. And here, see, they ask you this, right? And I don't like, I don't want this. And unfortunately, I don't see the way you can do through the GUI. Uh, I would like them to uh, update this. For example, if you can choose endpoint, that would be better. And so I put, you know, he asked me, I have to put a dummy. And then later on, you have to come here to change it. So I don't want this hard coded here, right? So I will want the reference here. Reference equal. Uh, this is uh, like, um, yeah. So, oh, <laughs> so I don't need the reference equal here. Let me see. So, right here. Reference equal to, um, so this is the reference, right? Let's see. All right. So now we have defined, okay, I need to reference this endpoint, uh, GMS endpoint, right? So this is the name here. Um, let me bring little bit up so you can see it better. Uh, I think I will put this into my blog so you, you, you don't have to um, to read this so so hardly. But anyway, uh, so I I configure that I manually add the uh, another thing I want to see the mule. This is the beauty about uh, you can modify this and and it will reflect here. So it's really, really, really very nice. Uh, so if you look at that, I don't have a queue here, right? And this is that's what I'm saying. They, they miss one element here, uh, the GUI. But anyway, uh, I hope in the next release they will fix this. Um, I think now we can run. Um, it will fail. I will tell you why it failed. But anyway, this is the purpose you want. You know, you, when you do development, you learn from the mistake. Uh, that's exactly uh, the purpose here. So I, I need to fix a few things. Uh, but I will, I will show you when, what happened if I run it, right? Uh, so, yeah. So you can run from here, right? Run this. Uh, wait. Okay. So it's not there yet, right here, right? So you can say run as first time, right? Run as new application. Uh, so <laughs> you should pay attention to the standard output here. And here is exactly what happened, right? So you see he couldn't find the class not fine. Um, that I want to see, uh, for, for a lot of developers, when they say this, they feel frustrated. Oh, you know, you, you're good, you say everything's fine, and now you tell me uh, it's not working. Uh, if you look the, if you think about the, the design of the GUI, they cannot include all the library, right? So basically something is missing. The library is missing. What is lab what's the main thing is ActMQ library, right? As I said, this is just Eclipse project. If you know the Eclipse pro Java project well, you can see that there's a build path. Um, 
you can do your research. Normally, you should be able to figure this out, but uh, I'll tell you the solution. <laughs> um, I'm not going to. Uh, so I'll say build path. We need other library. And so add external library. Uh, what is missing is this, right? Uh, as you can see that our this comes with uh, ActMQ standard uh, installation. So this library is needed. Okay, to open it, and you can see after here, I'll do okay. So now if you run it, now because I will run it, it will, you will show here, right? So this tutorial here, right? Let's run it, see what happened. Uh, I believe the compiler will, yeah, so you can see there's no error, right? Uh, it, 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 it passed. So in this moment, after we, we pretty much develop the skeleton, uh, of course, this do nothing. Um, really, there, there's not, not, nothing uh, you can do any meaningful. But anyway, I'll show, I'll show you how, how this, uh, now we need to invoke this. Uh, we can invoke from here, right? I already did the, Last time did some invocation. Uh, let me close this uh, to show you the real right. So remember, this is under local host. The port uh, is eighty eighty one, right? Uh, oh, I forgot something. So there's a very important concept. It's called pass. When when you configure HTTP, you should give a pass because what happens if you have multiple here? I sh I say this before, so it should be JMS. Uh, uh, let's see, JMS tutorial maybe. Any anyway, you can you can just um, uh, unique pass here, right? So let's do save. So I I save it. Um, let's see if reflect here. Uh, so this listener, right? Port. Huh, that's interesting. I don't see it here. Let me see it again. Let me see. So it should be saved. This should be here, and uh, is, okay. Oh, you see, it did not save. Control S, see what happened. Global base pass. Um, well, we don't have to do anything here. So this we should do here. Okay, so it's there. I wonder why this is not is not here. It should be right. Port. So there should be a pass here. Anyway, so let's run it. It should work. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let's come back here. Uh, it still didn't show the path. Anyway, um, I think it should work this time. Uh, let's run it again. JMS tutorial. Um, okay, so no error. And let's take a look. This is JMS dash tutorial right so what I need to do this because I want to invoke here so JMS dash tutorial right and so we give some parameters say name equal uh, Gary view and uh, so another parameter say um, major maybe what I'm doing 
what, what I majored in. Uh, say computer science, right? Computer science. And now I'm in market. Okay, so didn't give me any error. Let's see anything here. Um, oh, okay, he did something. See that? Uh, object to message. That was uh, this by default, A invoke this because he know that you're doing <coughs> message, right? There is some problem inside this, but I'm I'm going to show you. Uh, <coughs> first of all, I want to show you what happened. Anyway, then before. Uh, <coughs> so let's go here. Here, nothing, right? Let's refresh it. So there's one message. Cool. Look like it worked. Hey, um, see that? This is a queue. But if you look here, there's something wrong. Really, there's an exception. This is a good thing about uh, Mew. If something wrong, it put the message here. And I know this probably this message is not uh, very uh, revealing. You see, class not fun. <laughs> what happened really? Uh, I mean, you can figure out later on, but the real solution is I do not have a payload. So the payload is now. That's why he doesn't know this, uh, does not know how to serialize this now class. So he's that class now found. Anyway, um, let's fix this problem. Uh, so go back to Q. See that mu dot demo the Q, uh, it's created before it it does not have right. So now let's go back here. So what we need to do we need to uh set payload. So what is set payload? Um, is a component or transformer. Uh, if you think we are trying where we need to you know convert the HT TP messaging to a certain kind of payload. So it makes sense, uh, it's a transformer. And if you do not, I, if you are very experienced with Mu, you can do like this, set, right? You see that? Set payload come out. So you drag it somewhere here, see that? Set payload. Uh, it do, do certain compilation, of course, it do nothing now, and I won't set payload. Uh, there are few things you can do here, right? Set payload. Um, very powerful uh, transformer come with new is Groovy. Um, so you can do Groovy. Uh, I think uh, just one second. Think about this. Um, so we will do GUI uh, return. Uh, there's a bunch of syntax you can you can look here. Um, GUI component here. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. You you can uh, see that GUI blah blah. All right. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm going to quickly set it. Set it so Groovy. Uh, there is, I think you can do like this message. Uh, yeah, so I know it will no message. Uh, to string. Okay, that, right? So this will convert the whole uh, message, include the header, everything, to string. And then, remember, they will apply the object to JMS message. So they will put everything into the payload. Um, let's see. Let's save it. So, and then now we're going to rerun it. Okay. Um, You are already running, uh, so do you want to stop? Yes. 
so we're going to run this again. Oh, so what happened? Something wrong. Uh, huh? Just one second. I saw what fixed this problem. Oh. Class not found exception. Interesting. See what happened here. So what's the go problem? Maybe. Huh? Why? Why that library is gone? Something very interesting. Anyway, we can add that. This should not happen. Uh, do okay. And do that. So let's run it. See what happens. But anyway, when when this error, you should always. Uh, this is very important to watch the output. Uh, so this fix uh, the error. Uh, so it's running now. We set payload. Let's do a quick uh, look uh, test now. Here, there's one message. Let's do refresh. Right, only one message. When I invoke this, now it should have another message. Okay, so this is better, and you can see the, the this is the, the 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 message, right? So what I did, I put a parameter here. It called query string, right? If you look here, and also there's another thing called a query params, right? Uh, my 30 guess and uh, this is the the pass port pretty very very revealing um but anyway so it's success i know it's successfully involved let's look at the queue now remember there's one message right now if i refresh here you will see there are two messages pending right so we can take a look and this is the uh this is the 18, uh, this 25, I believe. This is the message we just sent. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right? You can see that now this. So what what we just did, we just add a transformer uh, using Groovy. Um, see that? And you can, you can take a look here as well. Um, this is a groovy, right? Uh, so w let's add another thing. You might be interested in something else, right? So it's you can do something like this here, or you can do uh, there's an auto response uh, auto uh, completion. So there is two things you can do. I know payload is nothing, right? Remember? So we do message here. See that? And on here, you see the in, right? And there is a bunch of inbound property. Under inbound property, the query string. Remember I, I showed you the, on the, on the, in here? So this is the message and the inbound property here. So this is, and also show you this. This is very good on uh, GUI. Uh, so what you can do, you can do here, do a dot. See, it, it show you. This is very beautiful. Um, inbound property here, right? And under inbound property, I want to do you know, maybe query string, or you can do prom. You know, we know query string, for example. That's it, and. If you know Java, I mean, they will connect Java string. You have to connect them together, right? So do plus sign. Okay? So now if you do save, and let's rerun it. Uh, I have not, I don't think it'll be automatically pick up what you have. We have changed. So every time you have to restart. Um, yes, okay. So ask me to save it. Um, all right, so 
Now it run again. Let's do a, do another test. Um, quick test here. Uh, install computer sound. And let me do something so make sure we don't do something wrong. Uh, when you do a test, it's always a good thing about you know change a little bit so you're not you're you make sure you you're not involved in the same stuff. So I say a uh, name. Let's say address for example, right? Address equal to uh, my address is in Texas. All right. Now let's invoke it. Uh, did I change it? Yeah. Here they say, it. see that my address in Texas. So this indeed a work uh, in, as I expected, and uh, nothing here. Um, nothing here. So let's go back to here. Remember, uh, I. So now there are three messages here, right? Remember before was two. Uh, okay. This is six. Six nineteen twenty five. This one is the new one. So let's take a look at this. And you know, there's a bunch of. Information Maven uh, meal session, pretty. You know, I think it's uh, if you uh, your interest, you can read this. It's very helpful. Anyway, uh, we are interesting here is that so this is our Octum queue. So every time uh, we did it through the web invocation, it goes through set payload uh, to Octum queue, right? And I want to show you one more thing. I think this basic is it. Uh, another thing is, remember we, we did the connector, right? So let's go back here. We did the connector. Uh, we didn't anything scopes. Uh, I, I don't have, but I want to cover a little bit here component. This is most important about ESP. Connectors, components, and transformer. Component is the has a you know you can put a compl complicated logic sitting here right invoke Java uh, I'm not going to the time restriction I'm going to put a simple logger here is a logger is component uh, let's see if along up oh, here yeah so I'm going to add a logger here. Um, level is info message here right remember um, it probably I was put the same message here um, we'll see okay message right and under message you have inbound properties here right so under inbound property you can do you see, I don't have to remember uh, much. It's uh, automatically, and then I need to connect. It's a string, Java string, right? And now I need to add uh, some groovy. So groovy, uh, I need to return. Uh, I need to return message payload, basically. I want to convert message to string. If you know Java pro programming, you see, this is exactly the same thing. Don't forget this ending. See, so they know how to interpret it, right? Uh, basically, that that's it. <clears throat> so let's go here and stop it. So do that. Uh, now I have do some logging before you know. Just uh, after invocation, I want to log the message, right? That's the purpose. Uh, let's run it. So run here. Um, as I said, always you, you watch, who knows, just last time I, I didn't know what happened. It just removed my, my library. Uh, anyway, it's running. And uh, so let's do an uh, invocation again. Um, again, uh, go here, do something. Uh, this time we say install the address. Uh, let's say um, a birth uh, <clears throat> day of birth, right? 
let's say day of birth is November November 19 all right November 19 uh, whatever the years my uh, my year so anyway so that doesn't matter okay hey uh, November 19 say that my year okay so this work this means working and uh, <clears throat> so what we did we just add login right so you see this this is the logger and uh, he said that info here pretty nice and then we have name here right um, if you really want, uh, there, there's many powerful way you can extract message here, right? Remember I just say, you know, inbound property, blah, blah, uh, query string. Uh, so add logger and, and you can watch here, study here a little bit further if you're, you're, you're interested. Um, th this is pretty much um, how do you build the application. It's really simple, take you, if you know very well, uh, very quickly build up your your flow um, in the mill they have you know quite complicated you can do sub flow if you later on uh, if I might have time I will later on I will uh, have another uh, video show you how to create a sub flow um, how to do um, content based routing etc uh, basically now you, you, you create your, your, your program, right? So I can do. Uh, I won't show you because another thing is very important is to build outside the, uh, this studio. Studio is nice to develop and for developer. Uh, but if you do uh, continuous integration, you need to do, build outside the studio. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna show you how to build it outside studio. Uh, in my last video, I did show you the same thing, um, but there is a new problem with Canvas Studio, so I want to show you that that issue. Uh, so okay, so under my I have uh, any any point workspace, so I have this is my <coughs> new tutorial here, this one. Uh, let's see the HTTP JMS uh, tutorial, right? So if you look here, um, I have pretty much everything. Uh, so I can do uh, Maven and then clean install. Boom! See what happened? There's an error. This is very annoying uh, if you're first time. Um, so it's saying, okay, I could not resolve this dependency. So why? Because I have inside GUI everything working perfect. I show you, right? Why we have this problem? Um, I think <clears throat> Mew need to do something better in, in the future. Every time they when they have the GUI when you build outside there was some issue. Um, anyway, when you see this problem, you should always you know check this right. Um, as a developer, you should always looking to resolve this kind of issue. Uh, you will have you will met, meet met this kind of problem all the time in your development. So, do I have that here? First of all, should I have it here? The answer is no. You should not put this, can, because this is called uh, indirect reference, right? You should not try to add the dependence. You, even if you add it, it, it will not work. So, what's the real problem? Uh, obviously, you should Google it. And say, oh, always uh, try. You know, when you have this issue, you can say 
copy this, right? You see, and uh, you can copy the whole thing, but normally you don't need. So this, basically, I want to figure out where I can get this thing, right? If you look here, there are two places actually. I know, uh, it's. I mean, this apparently you can go to Maven repository get that. That will not work. And I know this is somebody report this problem already. Actually, they fix this issue. Did that? Uh, but I don't think they give proper answer here. And. Uh, so the real, if you're watching now, you can see this. See this? This is a repository here. Dev something. This, if you look here, this is a Nexus repository. So what I did, oh, I can add this to my Ripple, right? Here, Control C. And then you can go to your here. Uh, See that all repository is already here, right? Anyway, I already document this in my blog here. Uh, you can take a look, right? So the solution is to add this, okay? So basically, you can copy here. And uh, paste over, you know, you need it like here. So... Do this way. Oh, and okay. Let's align it. All right. So do that. Save it. So yes. Um. Okay. So I I mo I modify the the palm file right. So. Now let's do it again. Oh, okay. So build success, right? And uh, what had happened is uh, we can look here. So there's there there is a zip file, right? Uh, in my private um. A video I show you how to look inside, uh, how to deploy to the uh, runtime. So I, I'm not going to show you here, repeat that part again. So yeah, basically I think that that's it. Um, in the, I would like I, I want to take this opportunity to show you how to you know solve problem. I have seen over many years and many uh, developers have trouble when they have you know this kind of uh, error uh, they feel a little bit panic but uh, it is it's not really that hard um, to figure it out so uh, to review uh, I in, in this video I, I mentioned a few things about you know the comparison different ESBs about fuse and then I show you how to build this kind of new flow uh, like a common route right um, convert the HTTP message uh, to a JMS message so put in the uh, JMS queue uh, using Actum queue uh, so I think pretty, that's pretty much uh, I want to show you today. Um, if I have time next time, uh, I'll see if I can plan to show you how to create a subflow, uh, how to do batching, how to create a different domain project. Um, that'll be more advanced. Uh, this is still, uh, you know, kind of introduction, a little bit. Uh, like a second or third week of study uh hopefully you like it uh let me know uh comment on my my video I, i'm going to uh hopefully I, I can put this into my blog as well so you can copy and paste stuff uh all right
thank you very much for watching my video and uh, I welcome your comments. Thank you. Bye now.